happy sunday i am in the midst of working on alicia's story as well as a new story that brings together some characters from the going series as well as dana from too hot for tv i don't know what i was thinking about doing two books at the same time but i've realized something i love both of these stories so much that I'm spending more time um, flipping through to make sure that I'm getting the characters right because I have called Alicia Dana and Dana Alicia in a couple of pages. So, <laughs> um, Alicia's story is very interesting because I've struggled with trying to put her in the correct, in the right situation. She's been such a major part of her friend's lives. But what do we really know about Alicia? That's where I was, that's where I was like, she has to have something hot. And I think I have found that in the prince that she meets, that she knew from college, but no one knew he was a prince. Interesting, I think. Now, as far as Dana, Dana has been Imani's best friend. She took her pictures and everything. So Dana has become this like star photographer. You know, she made Imani look really, really good. And her next step was Hollywood. Well, when she got to LA, she met Adrian Bryant. No shouts to Kobe Bryant. I do not like the Lakers. But Adrian is really not a Bryant. He finds out who his real father is, and you'll be surprised to know that his real father has ties to Solomon Crawford. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's his brother. His long-lost brother is coming back, but it's not some happy reunion. So, Dana and Adrian come together again um, because he needs her. To keep him from going crazy. So as I'm writing, I'm using a lot of reference books because I want to plot out a great story. Um, I want to give these characters depth because Adrian can come off very unlikable. But he's not unlikable. As I'm learning in my creating character emotions book, I just have to show his emotions and why he does what he does. Dana, you've seen her, but we don't know a lot about her. Again, gotta create some great character emotions. Proper dialogue, description, and setting. So, anybody who wants to help a sister go to LA, make sure you pick up a copy of Recipe for Desire. And of course, the love scenes. So as I'm writing and reading, uh, just finished uh, Vanessa Williams and Helen Williams, you have no idea. Pick that book up because it is an excellent story about everything that Vanessa Williams has gone through. And her mother is this powerhouse of a woman who stood by her daughter during the what I guess a lot of us would think were, was like the worst time of her life and how it just shows this mother and daughter relationship the good, the bad, the ugly it's a really great book and as I'm sitting up here finishing or trying to finish these books of mine I am hooked on Eric Jerome Dickey's An Accidental Affair and I love the shout out that I saw to one of my favorite characters of his, but I'm not going to ruin the book for you. You make sure you also pick up An Accidental Affair. And if you haven't gotten Recipe for Desire, get that as well. Recipe for Desire has gotten a lot of great reviews and I'm so loving all of the messages that I get on Facebook, email, Twitter from people who've read it. I really had a lot of fun writing that book. And I'm really having fun writing these two. And my 2013 release is in the hands of my editor. So, 
I am happy about that one when I know the date and if the title stays the same or changes I will let you guys know so I'm gonna get back to writing listen to my Motown playlist which just gives you so much inspiration Motown songs were like little short five minute novels great and I hope you have a great week.